Hi everybody, this is Jim West with Carolina Varsity. I want to talk a little bit about the 4A South Wake Conference. Uh, this is another one of the new conferences that have been created over the, with this new realignment. Uh, I like this conference, uh, but it's going to be a young conference this year. I don't think you're going to have any teams who are really going to dominate in this conference. Uh, number one I got is Middle Creek. Uh, they lost a lot of seniors, but uh, they still have a lot of depth though. And, I think this is one of these programs that uh, don't really rebuild, but they reload. Uh, Middle Creek should have a pretty good season. They should win this conference. Uh, uh, come playoff time, I don't know how far they'll go, but uh, to me, they're the best in this conference. Number two, got to go with Fuquay Verena. They have a solid team, uh, uh, good running game. Uh, defense looks like it's uh, going to be a little bit better this coming season. And, and really, there's not that much difference to me in uh, quality between uh, Middle Creek and Fuquay. I think Middle Creek has the higher uh, upside than Fuquay. Number three is going to surprise some people, but it's Gardner. Uh, some would probably wish Gardner to be second and not first, but uh, I just think they had too much um, too much talent that's been lost. Uh, at first, I thought it would be more of a coin flip between them and Fuquay, but I just think uh, Gardner's uh, is going to be a rebuilding year. And, probably a year out until they uh, will contend for a conference crown. But again, you know, anything can happen. You can have some players step up, uh, come off of JVs, and and really make the difference. So uh, let's don't entirely dismiss Garner, but right now I'm, I would say third place is probably the, the best bet for them. Number four, got to go with the uh, Golden Hawks over at Holly Springs. Uh, this is a team that, um, you know, they, they lost them. They have a lot of um, starting positions that um, – you just don't know who's going to be starting this coming season. Uh, um, they're going to be up for grabs and um, some pretty good, healthy competition. I just don't know if they have enough depth to uh, compete with the top three teams. But uh, uh, Holly Springs, uh, they're they're going to be probably another year out until they really make noise. Which, so ironically, uh, the next team, um, Apex Friendship, uh, this will be the very first year that they will actually have a senior team seniors on their team. Uh, last year the, they had a bunch of juniors and um, you know the friendship could surprise us. They could finish fourth. Uh, right now I'm picking them fifth. Uh, I do think uh, it's hard to tell with the new program exactly how they're going to uh, you know take on the into the um, into the um, football world. And, uh, so right now I'm taking them fifth but I would not be surprised if they, they surpass Holly Springs for fourth. Uh, it's going to be um, a team that's uh, that should be fairly mature, believe it or not, for, I guess, is this a third-year program at this point. Number six, got to go with Apex. I just don't think there's enough warm bodies uh, to to compete very much in this conference. Uh, there, there's talent, just not enough of it. Anyway, this is Jim West with Carolina Varsity, and thank you so much for listening.